In this video, we're going to go through the two different ways that you can endorse your content within the Power BI service, the promotions and the certifications. We're going to go through the difference between the two and also a step by step guide on how to set it up for yourself. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan. And welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So if you've created content that you want your other colleagues or your whole organization to take advantage of, it can get easily lost in all the data sets that you've created for your other reports. Endorsing these contents allows others to find it quickly and easily. And there are currently two ways that you can endorse content. Promotion highlights content that you think is valuable to the business and that this content is in a good format to share and collaborate upon. If you own the data or have right access to the content, you can promote it through the Power BI service and we'll go through it together in a second. Certification is the next level to promotion, which is essentially when the content is been reviewed by your organization and is deemed to meet the standards of quality that they've set. And essentially it's regarding your content as reliable and generally ready to be used by the whole organization. Power BI admins can enable this feature so everyone can certify their contents, but you typically find it. Power BI, Power BI admins can enable this feature so everyone can certify content, but what you typically find is that a group of reviewers will be assigned to this role and they can certify the content for the organization. So when other users in your organization try to build reports upon data sets in already in the Power BI service, both of these options will be pinned in the trusted in your organization tab. So whenever someone explores your data sets or your content, it will be made available to them from there or through the landing page, making it easier for them to access. So what can you endorse? Typically, you'd use this feature to endorse data sets, but as the feature has grown in the past years, it's now possible to endorse other contents like data flows, reports, or even apps. To promote a content is pretty simple. So here is a report that I have stored in my workspace to promote this. Uh, and I, because I created this one, which means I have right access to this report. I will simply go to file under settings. You will see under endorsement here, you can select between non promoted or certified if you can. So if you click promote here and hit save, your report is now promoted in your Power BI service. In my landing page, we will find the headcount analytics reports with the promoted tag as its endorsement type. If we go back to the reports and go back to that settings, you'll notice that there is a toggle here which would make the content discoverable even to those who may not have access to it. It means that they will see this report available in their homepage. They won't see the data within though. They'll be able to see that it's there and they can request access if they want to. This same flow works for the other content types like data flows, reports, or data sets. You simply define if it's promoted or if it's certified and if it's discoverable or not. We won't go through each of them because it's pretty much the same process. In the same settings, you'll notice that I have the ability to certify this content. Now by default, this will be disabled unless your Power BI admin has enabled it and they've given you the right to certify its content. So normally you'd want to be a reviewer or you just want to give the reviewers the ability to certify content. In order to enable certification as a Power BI admin, you simply head on to the Power BI portal. So if I go here, I go to admin portal under the tenant settings. We'll go to export and sharing settings and you will find this option here somewhere. 
let's see yeah certification here this needs to be enabled for the certification to work in your tenant here you can specify a redirect link where you can give your users the ability to request certification and get their content certified you can also define here who can certify your content if you have a specific security group you can set it here you can even exclude certain groups or you can simply just give the entire organization the ability to certify content, which uh, is not recommended, but it's there for you if you want to use it. Once you're done with your changes and you click apply, you'll need to wait about 15 to 20 minutes for the changes to take effect. Then once you've done that, you simply go back to your content and you'll find that the certified option will not be grayed out anymore and you can start using it. If you're a user and you want your content certified, but you're not a reviewer, like for example, if I go here in the settings and let's say for example, I am not able to select the certified button here a way for you to request the certification is by clicking this link this will link to the redirect url that your admin has set up in the admin portal but if they haven't set anything up as a redirect link if you click that it will simply take them into this microsoft documentation Typically, your admins will set up a form for you to complete in order to request certification for your reports. Uh, but for example, here, because we didn't set up a redirect URL, it just takes us here as a default. So let's go back to our headcount analytics report. Let's certify this and let's simply hit save. What you'll see at the top is we have now this certified tag next to the headcount analytics, just giving us the information that this report has been certified. If I expand on that, you'll see some more information like who certified it. And if we go back to the settings here, where we came from, you'll see that it will show us who certified the reports and when they've certified it, which is pretty interesting. If we go to the homepage, you will see that this content will now be pinned at the top, so it's easier to find. If you endorse datasets and your users create reports on top of your existing datasets, the Power BI service will show the endorsed content first, guiding your users which datasets they should be using. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know the two different ways that you can endorse your content in Power BI service. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really liked the video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.